on in. Welcome to <laughs> the apartment tour. So this is the front door, which you've just entered. So this is the small little entryway. Um, I'll take you into the first room first, which is right to the left of the entryway. So this is our small little um, laundry room. Came with the washers and dryers, which is extremely nice. And then this is a little pool that was there too that we use for our jackets, whether it's for fashion or to stay warm because we do live in Minnesota. And then it came with this nice cupboard, which all the laundry stuff is in and just kind of junk, kind of ugly. So then we walk back to the front door right here and straight across from the door is our closet. Now this is our only closet that we have besides for our clothes. So that's very frustrating. Um, obviously this is James and I's all of our shoes. I put this together by myself. And then we have all of our board games because we love doing game night. So it goes like way up there. And then the rest of it is just kind of storage because again, we don't really have anything. So we have our cleaning supplies in here. And then this little white um, thing is full of all of my extra stuff. So like hair stuff, makeup, bags, bunch of junk. So that's just that closet. And then right here is where James and I keep our schedules. So our bills, our work schedules, and things that come on throughout the day. So I like to stay organized. And then over here is kind of just our little junk space. It gets very dir dirty very easily. So this is where we put all of our mail and keys, things like that. Um, this one is just a junk drawer and for all of our bills and stuff. So we don't really need to look in that. This as well is the junk drawer. It's kind of organized. Um, it gets out of hand a lot, but I like to organize, so I have to clean it up a lot. And then this as well is just full of junk because it's an awkward cupboard. And so again, that was our only closet, so we don't really have any space. So then we walk into the kitchen, which is right here. So it came with the freezer and fridge. The fridge is pretty spacious, which I like, and my nice shelves. And then the freezer is pretty small, but it works for just James and I. Um, then we have a nice dishwasher, which it is actually on delayed, so it's going to start running here in four hours. And then we have an air fryer, the coffee station, and then over here is just like all of our utensils and things like that. This is kind of like the pantry we made because it's at a weird angle. So that's our pantry. <laughs> Again, the storage here is terrible. <laughs> and then these are all of our spices, and then we just have Lazy Susan right here. Under the sink is all of our cleaning supplies. I won't really get into all the cupboards too much, but if you want to see that in another video, just feel free to leave a comment down below. And I would love to do that because I love to organize stuff. So, and this is kind of like our candy and snacks and things like that. And then this is like tin foil and plastic wear and things like that. So that's kind of all here in the kitchen. Again, it's kind of awkwardly laid out, but we luckily made it work. And yeah, and then this painting right here we got from TJ Maxx, and I think it's so cute and it was super cheap. A lot of our stuff is from TJ Maxx, or like my mom gave us or made us, or we DIY ourselves. So that's one thing that James and I are very proud of, is that this entire place we fully furnished ourselves, and nobody like helped pay for our brand new couch or anything like that. That was all... Most of James and I. So another thing I just thought of that I want to show you is right here. This cute little thing I got off of Amazon. So James and I kind of like to do meal planning as best as we can. We don't always do that. And then this cute little thing and their dry erase and magnets is so good for cooking because James loves to cook and a lot of things are either in ounces or like weird um, measurements. So that's kind of a nice little cheat sheet. So then right out the kitchen. Oh, and I got to show you this garbage. So it is actually motion sensor, which is so cool. But it can get annoying because you walk by it and it literally opens. But so then out there, you can obviously see our living room, which we'll dive into next. We'll just turn right over here. And this is kind of our counter space, which these counters are overly like huge. They are so tall. Like if I sit at them. They literally just go above my chest. So, super weird length. It should definitely be a couple inches shorter, but it's fine. Um, these stools we got from Walmart um, as a set of three. Ignore this little pile of clothes. James does construction, like roofing and stuff. 
and here in Minnesota it's obviously freezing, below freezing, negatives, so that's all the clothes he wears. Um, and then that's just a little cat station for their food and stuff. And James actually spoils the cat so much that <laughs> it's a self-timing feeder. And so every time it goes off, so it goes off six times a day, and this is what it says. I think that's so cool. <laughs> and then right over here, behind this ladder, again, the storage space is so small here. Um, we have some TV trays, so we usually like to eat in the living room just because the, because the counters <coughs> are very high, obviously. And then this is the blanket ladder that I've wanted forever, and my mom is so crafty and loves making things and doing all that sort. So this is actually, she made that for us. And then these are all of our blankets. These two James's mom gave him. And then this is our super cool lamp. Everybody always talks about it and we love it. We got it the same place in days we got our couch. And it has three different settings. So that was the brightest and there's this one and then dim and off. And so it's just a little button that you press with your foot. And I guess we'll go into the living room and then we'll go back around. So. This little spot right here is super cute. I love the clock, um, noon, midday, evening, and night, um, because it's just like a minimalist, and I love that kind of style of things. And then it looks weird there, so I got two canvases of James and I um, when we were in North Carolina and went to Wee Fest. And then some more of the living room. This is our couch. We bought completely brand new from a furniture store. Um, James picked it out. It's perfect. We wanted a sectional the entire time. And then James actually put up this shelf because we got surround sound and you couldn't really put it on the um, couch because it kept falling down. So James actually put it up there. We got this from Walmart, <laughs> this duck, which James named Swaggy D um, from TJ Maxx. <laughs> and then my mom got us this. I'm pretty sure she made it. It says life is better with cats. So super cute along with these coasters from tj maxx says be happy and they're like the boho theme which is like my favorite so my theme is kind of like simple and boho minimalistic and james's is very um modern and minimalistic as well and then this painting we don't know if we like it or not um this is kind of the first thing to go on the wall and my mom actually got us it from the thrift store and so we just put it up there because it fits the space well but it's cute, it's just weird at the same time. And then this table has four drawers that pull out, but we don't really have to get into that. Um, we got it off Amazon, but it was so tiny. So we actually got those bed stilts that you can put on, make your bed taller and put them under there. So it's kind of like it's floating now. And then this plant is fake. Cassie gave me that for my birthday a few years ago. And then this goes up to the patio which we won't really get into because we actually have a patio video remodeling on YouTube already. So if you wanna watch that, you can. It's super cute, super fun out there, and it's definitely a vibe. And then over here is obviously the TV sound bar. Um, this homebody sign is from Lit Decor and Gift. It is super cute. James bought it, I seriously love it. And then this has got LED lights that came with it. Actually, James loves his LED lights. And then in these cupboards are movies. So just kind of random little things like that. So that was kind of the whole living room space that leads into the kitchen. And next is our bedroom, so come on in. So as you can see right away, you see our bed, which I have brought from my dad's house. So that's where I lived before. Um, and then you walk in and you have this little stand right here, which me and James, we play Fortnite every single night. So this is his monitor that he plays on. And then this is kind of his thing that he keeps. So he likes the Milk Boys and Danny Duncan, Mr. B. So anything he's ever bought there, he keeps like the tags and stuff in the Nike boxes. And then we have our Oculus down there. Um, these, we just felt like this wall looked really bare. So we as well got these at TJ Maxx. And then right behind you where you're standing... We have my nail polish, which I obviously do my nails a lot and I might have a problem just slightly. <laughs> so these are all my nail polishes, our fan, our hampers. So we have one on each side, one for James's clothes and then one for my clothes. And then we actually did all of these. So we just ordered like canvas prints. So it's just a paper with like 
the canvas material from Amazon. And then we got these picture frames from, these ones are from the dollar store. And then, <laughs> and then we spray painted them this like blue color because I love that color. But also like we realized our apartment is literally black, whites, and grays. So we needed some pop of color. So that's why we kind of have the blues. And I think it looked, went really good with the pictures itself. And then James and I have matching nightstands right here with a nice drawer. We actually assembled these ourselves. And then this nice little lamp on each side as well, which actually charges your phone when you place it on there. And then we got our bedspread from Target along with like our pillows and stuff. This pillow James actually also bought too. We usually have it on the couch, but for winter we put it in our room and that's from Lit Decor as well. Now in every single room, you'll see that the lighting is white. We actually had to switch all the light bulbs because the lighting in here was so bad. It's like orange. And then we also switched the blinds on here because they were also brown and just really darkened the room we thought. And they just push up and stay like that. And then they're really cute and white and they block out all the sun. So it's really nice, they're very dark. And then so on this side, we couldn't find more little um, pictures like the ones over there. So we had to go big. So it's kind of like abstract on each side, but yet the same theme. And then these picture frames we got from Walmart and spray painted them as well. And to hang everything, we've either used glue dots, which we don't recommend because we've learned that when we want to move out, um, we're going to have to replace the wall. Not like the whole wall, but patch it up and repaint it. And the wall has texture, so we had to buy texture spray. So we're very nervous about that. So most of the stuff is with the glue dots, which don't recommend because once it dries, it's on there. Or command strips, which we are doing now, obviously. So then that's kind of all that side of the room. And then we go over to this big mirror, which is my favorite. We got this from Walmart. It was originally gray, like the gray that you see on the inside and on the outside. And then James and I decided to spray paint the exact same color that we spray paint into the picture frames just because it adds a pop of color, makes a statement, and it matches everything else. And it's super cute, but yet subtle. And I love that color. So then you come into this way, which is our wardrobe or closet. So right here is my dresser. My mom actually did all of the, um, it was brown. And so she painted it and did everything for me. So I'm pretty organized with my underwear, bras, and socks. <laughs> um, and then on top of it, because again, there's not a lot of storage. This is Oliver. He comes here too. He's so cute. Um, on top of it is all of my nail stuff. Because again, we don't have like shelves and didn't know how to put them up. But one thing I'm very proud about, took forever, was my nail book. So these are all of the colors that I have and you'll see like they're obviously repeated because I made each one um, glossy and matte but I love them and it makes it super easy to do my nails and it's super cute and makes it easy when other people come over to do my nails or when I do their na nails I can choose easily. This is my Gucci belt that James got me because he's amazing. <laughs> And then you work, walk further in. And then this part of the closet is mine right here. So this a half up here is kind of my comfy clothes. So sweaters, long sleeve, and comfy t-shirts. And then under here is like James's dresser because we could not find a good deal for a dresser. So he's just got these cubby, cubbies with clothes and stuff. Um, the shelf is just kind of all random stuff. So like this tote is empty. I used to have all my nail polish in there, but it just got too confusing. And then I have my swimsuits in these two totes and then just clothes that I usually never wear in that tote. And then James has this top half of the clothes. So all of his clothes fit up there. And then on this bottom half, these are my nicer clothes or like even my gym tops that I wear to the gym when I go, which has been a long time. But yeah, so these are all my nice clothes and cute stuff. I just put like a few new products in from Sheen, which there will be a video on that either before or after this video so make sure you put push that notification bell so you're notified when i do post it so now we enter the bathroom so the one side of the bathroom leads to the kitchen and then the other side comes here into the bedroom so how do you shut this door it's a sliding one which is actually super cool i think because 
if it was an open one, that'd be so much more room than it takes up. Again, like, it's obviously pretty small for a one bedroom, one bathroom. Um, but it does the job. So then over on this side is just the toilet. And then over here is the big mirror, which I really love as well. Um, I like the big mirror. It makes it really nice when James and I are both getting re ready. Um, and the light bulbs, again, were super yellow in here. You've probably seen that in some past videos. So James and I bought, like, a bunch of light bulbs and replaced them. So if you, like, remember what the laundry room looked like, the lighting in there was the same all around here. So we definitely landed up in here. And then this is all just my makeup. So, like, my bronzing, blush, palettes right there, all my brushes. And then in this drawer is just kind of all my beauty blenders because my cat eats them. And then, like, teeth whitening things and my toothbrush. And then in this drawer is all my hair products, so heat protective, hairspray brushes, makeup remover, hair ties, clips, etc. And then in this one is all my eyeshadow palettes, which are right back here. Um, my toothbrush charger and just a bunch of random stuff. And then under the sink, we've just got junk. And then this side is all of our shaving stuff and facial stuff, deodorant, and then like first aids in there, Q-tips and tampons in here. And then also one place, like there's no closet space in here either. So we actually have our, our towels in a basket that lay under our clothes. So that really sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then this is our shower suit. I mean, nothing special, obviously, but. I like the shower curtain which we got from Target. And then out of the bathroom, you're right back into the living room and kitchen area. So that's kind of everything in our apartment. So I will let James quit with the torture and I'll talk to you. Okay, so that was the long and awaited apartment tour. James and I's first ever apartment, which we completely got accidentally. Um, that might not make sense to you, but just watch the video that I have on my channel. It's literally titled that, and it was completely an accident. We did not plan on getting an apartment. But, so, we currently live in apartment 201. Um, we moved in in March 2021, and it is currently January 2022, so our lease ends in February, and we will hopefully end up getting, um a different apartment coming up soon at least one with more storage and another bedroom but the thing is james and i are kind of high maintenance and so it definitely has to look nice and be new like this one like we're very grateful for what we have and that we were able to afford everything and buy everything brand new um completely ourselves so at at that time 19 and 21 now 20 and 22 um i think we're doing really good for ourselves in our own apartment um completely furnished by ourselves for the most part so super proud of ourselves that's one of my big biggest accomplishments and i couldn't be prouder or happier with the outcome just wish it was a little bigger because you don't realize how small a place is until you get it completely furnished and buy a bunch of things and have to put all the big stuff under your bed because it doesn't fit anywhere else and you don't have closet space so Hopefully we will cross our fingers and pray that we get one soon coming up for not too much more expensive because apartments these days, living these days is quite expensive. And so if we could find something for close to the same price, maybe a little more and a little bit more spacious, that would be wonderful. We've even considered moving back in with my dad until we can save up for a house. But it's nice having our own space and we enjoy it and being so close to work is so nice especially in the harsh winters that minnesota gives um but i think that will wrap up our 201 apartment tour um of 2021 and 2022 um hopefully if we move i will do another one but i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it be sure to give it a big thumbs up um if you want to hit that subscribe button it would seriously mean a lot to me don't be afraid to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when i post i've got some fun videos coming up filmed another one earlier today and i told you about the sheen one as well so be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I post. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day. Mwah. Hurry up, man, this shit. Oh, also, if you leave a video idea in the comments or you DM me on Instagram and I end up doing it, I will give you a shout-out. <laughs> the apartment tour.